What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Matt's Creative, and welcome to my Linux show. Today, we're showing off a, an, an extension, a pull request for an extension that is completely work in progress. This basically adds coloring to unfocused windows. Uh, they really need to learn a little bit of, you know, better titling. But what it means is you can have a focused window be blue and a unfocused window be purple or whatever you want. This makes, I guess, things easier to just tell, hey, that's unfocused. Hey, this is in focus. And plus, it looks really cool. So why not, right? Now, this application does cause a few issues with Blur My Shell, but I'm still going to use it anyway. And it has not been merged yet, but I have been testing it. We have it available right now, and that is totally the wrong bar to show. Uh, ah, right. Give me one second. Lamo. There it is. So... Let's just maximize that. I am going to completely mute this audio and I'm gonna hit play on this just so we have a better color to go by. Just trying to get it there. There we go. So as you can see, it's blue. And if I unfocus the window, it turns purple, back to blue, back to purple. And honestly, I like it. And the rounded colors really look good on cider. And honestly, I wish they would put it on cider normally because honestly, the pointy color, the pointy corners thing, just looks archaic at this point in time and i'm not a fan of it you as a person can be a fan of it i'm not now this is everything you can do in it so you've got your global settings is yeah, i set my on focused color and my focused color the blur the, the border is five and i've added 0.4 percent of corner smoothing to make it look really good but you could turn that all off if you want and honestly maybe 0.3 is best but if we scroll down you can change the window shadow so if you want it to be super dark or undark you can do so uh there's a blur radius and everything kind of cool you have to, uh, to have control over your shadows like that and there's just a whole bunch of other stuff in here you can even blacklist certain programs and add uh custom settings for each window class whatever you need to do this program does it and honestly i find that's absolutely amazing now, this is my second time recording this because my microphone decided to be on a dummy input. Yeah, that's a 6.10 issue. So going in 6.10.1, which we're running right now. Do you know, I get stupid comments on YouTube all the time. I want to show you one. One that is honestly so special that it makes me cry inside a little bit because of how dumb it is. You know, a comment that's so dumb that it literally gives you brain cancer type thing. So here, yeah, let's try to maximize that. I'm failing, but I'm going to just zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. So there you go. So according to this guy, I run uh, Windows on a separate PC. I don't know where the separate PC is, but uh, no. And if I do need footage from something that's Windows only, like Shad PS4 only working on Windows, I'll ask a friend of mine to grab that footage for me. And he does, and he's a super nice guy. So, yeah. Oh, poor guy. He's hurting so bad. He thinks everybody lives on Windows and Windows only. Don't be this guy. Be better than this guy, okay? Now, I'm going to leave the link to, the, to this extension in the description below, and I'm going to show you how to install it and get it working. Uh, you need to go to the download page, which we were just on, and I honestly should not have closed it. And what we can do is we can click this. Then we can go to here. We can hit download. Come on, Cider. Stop it. Once you have it downloaded, you can head into your downloads folder. Okay. You can right click it and extract just like this. And it'll create a folder just like this. And inside this folder, you can open in terminal. And you need to install two things sudo pacman this is varch linux and bash capital s for installation and we need to do just an npm and enter your password and install both of these i already have them both installed so we're good and then you do just install and once that's done it will compile it it will install it it will update all the languages and stuff and you just log out and log back in and you're done 
Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.